What's up guys, it's Noah here. Welcome to another explore of another retro abandoned house. This place is completely boarded except for the one door at the basement. It's super dark in here. There's actually a lot left behind. There's some cool decay. So without further ado, let's go check this place out. So we're going to start in the kitchen and right away. Look at the can pressure. Looks like an old vacuum right there. It's pretty cool. Lots of cupboard space. Oh, they got a pencil sharpener in here. So over on this side of the house, you can see they had like a little entranceway from the uh, front here. Did the lion door knocker. It's kind of cool. Check out this little room though. You can see all the boards. So this is the kitchen. Interesting light fixtures sitting here. This fridge looks pretty old. Nope. There's some coupons for I don't know where, but they expire in 20, 2016. So four years ago. So the house has been abandoned probably at least four years. Got the nice peels starting all here. Even the tile. Like it starts to clash a little bit. That's okay though. Yeah, that backsplash. Pretty interesting. It's a big old knife there. It's like a fish knife. And there's mouse droppings. Looks like they took some like details and stuff from here. Took the sink. Not really tons left in this kitchen. There might be some cups or something. Yeah. All this stuff is complete garbage now. There's all this mold. It's not worth anything to anyone anymore. Huh. Oh. Using my feet because I don't want to touch tons of stuff. Yo, lazy Susan. Works pretty decently. This is where the mice probably had their nest. Look at how like greasy the stove is. The hood's really low on this, like, I'm terrified to open some of these. Even the coffee brewer. White Westinghouse. It's 
It's also off the kitchen, right by the uh, can crusher. It's actually a washroom. See the years of decay all throughout this. If it open. Oh, it does. That noise. Oh, this room's pretty rough. Big old hole. Not very uh, unsurprising. Pretty big closet. Just one of the rooms in here. To help you get your orientation back from where we were. This is leaving the kitchen. Right here is your front entrance of this home. It's got really, really nice woodwork all here. So we're going to, to go this way down the hall. Look at that carpet. It's interesting. Instead of a door, we have, we have this. Room's quite rough as well. It's also wet. There's some tools in there. So, this is the one room we already ended up in. Comes right out of the kitchen. Weird, but that's how it works. This room actually has a bed. Here's the closet. What is this? A second closet. Big Sony TV right there. And really it's just a bed frame sitting in this room. That's all there is to it. Some decay, but other than that, that wraps up this one. It's pretty detailed. Wouldn't want to sleep in here though. Last room down this hall is this like super retro looking washroom. Like, look at that sink. Pink tub. There's a toilet there, but we're not showing you guys that, as requested. This is what happens, so house gets exposed to the elements, water, moisture, creates black mold. And this is why a lot of these houses are written off. Or demolished. That's interesting, faucet handles. Ooh, those are seized. Oh yeah.
That's pretty cool, it's glass. Okay. So, back into the main entrance. It's weird because there's a, a room right off of the front door of this house. It's nice wood though, the door is really nice. And I guess they boarded this house up in time that all the glass and stuff's intact still, so they may or may not reuse it before they demolish it. I think they should take the door. The door's cool. Quite well done in this house. So, presumably this would have been their living room. Makes sense. Decays on another level. Above the uh, curtains though, that's kind of cool. It's got like a decorative wood trim and stuff. Pretty interesting, I haven't seen that in a while. They also have a nice brick fireplace with wood accents around it, wood mantle, stuff like that. I tell people have been in here and tossed like their coffees in there, but. It's pretty nice. All right, continuing on. Some more tools sitting on the fireplace's mantle. This would have been their dining room. Look at how bad that is. Wow. Chandelier's still hanging proud though. There's this room. It's close to the garage. Don't actually know what it's for. Look at the amount of incredible detail on that mantle though for the fireplace here. Look at that. It's not a real fireplace, but you know, it does work. But I don't know what they use this room for. It almost looks like this part was added because it's all brick. This is the garage, if I'm correct. Yeah. Looks like something fell in here, guys. So, no, nothing fell in here. Oh, there's the sink. They may have been doing asbestos abatement in here. What's interesting, too, is that there's a door to get in somewhere there and one there. I don't know what a lot of the stuff in here is. I want to know what's in that door, though. It may not go anywhere. It's an outside door. It's just a board. All right, let's head upstairs, guys. Let's ruin Alan's photo. Got your green carpet running all up this. You can see all the mold on the walls.
Look at all the wood paneling. Like a little office nook. So, I guess this would be the master bedroom then. But where's the master washroom? Wait. Wait, what? Is this like a closet? So there's a closet here. It's like this is part of the master. That's what it looks like. So if I keep going, I would guess that this is the washroom in here. Okay, now I'm confused. There's a second room up here. Does this make any sense to you guys? Again, there's a fireplace. Fake one sitting up here. This calendar says the date, it's 2016, so that's what the year it was most likely abandoned. But yeah, this is weird. This layout makes no sense. Like this, like what's the point of this? There's literally just space behind the fireplace, the fake fireplace. And this almost looks like it would have been like them trying to blend it in. Probably a cedar closet or something. Weird. These look like these would open, but they just it's just the seams. This is really weird. Huh. So there's no bathroom up here. Not that I could find. Yeah, there's no bathroom on the upper floor. So this may or may not have been the master. I mean, if it was, this was their whole floor. But it's hard to tell, very hard to tell. All right, so we're back in the kitchen. We're gonna head downstairs. Let's take a look at what is left down here. It's a handle. I'm gonna guess it. I don't know what kind of bug that is, but there's a bug. I'm gonna guess it's probably wood panel down here. Based on their, you know, stuff. Oh yeah. Look at that. I'd say she's pretty wood paneled up. So this one has an actual fireplace, a proper one. It's got tiles, nice wood trim. A lavish. Dog crate. You guys see what I see? There's a piano. We'll get to that, don't worry. Go check out the, uh, the furnace room. It's pretty big. Two tubs. Not gonna try to squeeze myself back there. But the tiling's pretty interesting. Look at that. It's 
a shower in here. Very crudely made one, but it's here. Oh wow, look at all this. So this would have been the workshop right here. There's a lot of stuff left behind here. Anything cool? That's cool. Joint compound. Just the uh No way. Asbestos stove and furnace cement. That is why we're wearing the masks. That is so bad. How old is this? Made in Toronto, Canada. Doesn't say. Yeah, there's some old, old products in here that shouldn't be here. Like these paints, they're probably lead paint, presumably. Yeah, asbestos though, that's not great. This Kleenex tissue pack is. Wow. So walking out of the shop, there's the old door that's been probably open for years and years. It was a nice house. But I know what you guys want to see. And it's right here. Don't know if it's a grand piano. Don't know what style of piano it is. Does it work though? Some of it. Thank you for coming to my show. I don't know how it works. Huh. Yeah, but Big piano still left behind, kind of works. It's moldy. Williams, New Scale, Oshawa, Canada. Hey, that's pretty close to home. Nice. I don't see stuff made in Oshawa, Canada much anymore. And this is just probably an empty closet. A bunch of old flags in here. Death Valley. Hoover Dam. Cool. And this is one last room. This is the only other room in this house that has these weird pull curtains. Do I know what this room was used for in the slightest? No, I do not. Do these work? Kind of. If you know why they'd have these, I know this is something old. I've never seen this in my life. Let me know in the comments below. That's the end of the video. Before we go, I uh, hope everybody's staying safe during this COVID-19 pandemic. Be nice to each other. Share toilet paper. Help out your neighbors. Check on people. 
keep your distance, wash your hands, wash them. This doesn't need to be spread around tons. And hopefully everybody that does have it recovers quickly and they have a great life afterwards. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.